Bowling alleys have been a large entertainment venue for many places across the world, families and individuals alike. But when the town of Greencastle, Indiana lost theirs two years ago, it lost a major entertainment venue. That all changed when Gary and Valerie Waters opened it up in the summer of 2012 underneath the name A&J Bowl. But this is, not a, this is not a mere business adventure for them. The story goes much deeper. We asked Gary and Valerie what exactly inspired them to reopen the alley. So we had a boy that went to Afghanistan and, and was killed over there, and, uh, which he left a little money for us. But we wanted to make sure the youth and the community uh, had something to do, so we took the money and, and, and basically gave it back to the community. We wondered what their primary goals were for reopening the alley. We kind of took it and, and made it uh, family oriented. We're trying to gear for keeping kids off the street on Friday night and Saturday night. So, and when we were in a position to buy this place, that was the whole goal that we, we had. We're uh, done away with the bar. Uh, but we do serve beer. We serve beer, but we wanted to make sure that you can bring the kids into the diner and uh, be able to eat in here, but if the parents wanted to have a beer with their meal, they could. But we didn't just interview Gary and Valerie. We interviewed one of their sons and employees, Andy Waters, about his views on the alley. I honestly was happy because it gave us something to do. You know, it gave us a place to go and hang out, really. Honestly, I was one of the ones that was against getting the alcohol license because I thought it took away from the family revenue and you know, the venue of the children. But the children and teens weren't the only focus for the new bowling alley owners. Uh, we want to make sure that the mil military gets honored. And that's why we ask people to bring their pictures in so we can hang them up on the wall. Because they do a job that most of us don't even can't even imagine what they go through to make sure that we can live the way we want to live. We wanted to delve a bit deeper into the ties between the bowling alley and the family itself, as well as the future of a and Bowl. It keeps us together too, because right. it's easy for a family to go apart. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got so much to do, but when they know they got to come here and work, they're stuck with mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm prepared to work here for a long while. I don't know if Joe or anybody else is, but I am. Losing a child is a pain that no parent should ever have to feel. But while making the Greencastle community a better place for children, teens, and residents alike, the Waters family have truly made the best out of a bad situation. <laughs>